All right, so our first increment was getting the movement, the basic movement of the monkey. And now we want to go to our second increment, which is the basic movement of the bananas. So let's go over to the bananas and let's start with the same idea. We want to start with, well, what happens at the green flag? What happens with places everybody? Again, I think we're going to, going to expand this as we move on, but let's just get it starting from the very beginning. We, we're going to have the bananas jump to the top of the screen like this. So maybe go to uh, the top and let me, st again, I'll, we'll go ahead and center them. So go to 0, 158, which puts them at the top like this. And then uh, let's make sure that they're pointing in the right direction because I am going to use, uh, I want them to sort of look like this, like, like they're hanging down maybe and we're ready to have them start to move. Now, there's a, there's a twofold with this one. We want to do the places, everybody. We want to have them reset like this, right? Go to the top of the screen. And then the issue is we want them to start to fall. And the question is, how can we make them fall? Well, there's a couple of different ways to do this, right? You could do it with move blocks. But the problem is, move how far? Do what? And so one of the things I often see students do next is they say, well, let's have it glide, right? I want it to glide from where it is down to uh, the bottom of the screen, maybe negative 158, right? And so that at least gives me the movement of fall. That fall, fell pretty fast, so we could make it f fall faster, or excuse me, slower by increasing that number. But, but the problem is that now it's always going to go to that location. And what happens later when we have the, the bananas you know, moving around to a random location? I mean, right now I have them going to the center to begin with. But of course, eventually, we're going to want them moving around. And so this doesn't quite work. Well, the idea is we want them to come down slowly, and we want to see them. And so what we're really doing if, as, the monkey, as, as the bananas are falling is we're changing the y value. Just like with the, with the monkey, we were changing his x value. With the bananas, we're going to change its y value. And we want it to, to drop a little bit each time. Right? And of course, dropping means that y is actually getting smaller. y is starting at 158, but we want it to drop to 157, and then drop to 156, and then drop to 155, and so on. And so we want to repeatedly change y by negative 1. Right? Well, how many times? Well, for the time being, I'm going to just say forever. Now, we know that's not going to be right, but just to get us started, we want to say that once the, the flag is set, I want the bananas to jump to the top and slowly start to fall. This is not the way we want the game going at the end, but it is a good way to get started, right? So I can press this, and now we see the bananas slowly falling from the sky, slowly falling from the top. That's a pretty good increment. Let's just add in one more thing then. Suppose we want our bananas to not always start at the top, because right now this is going to be too easy, right? I can just sit here and catch the bananas every time, because they're always going to fall from the middle. I don't even have to move the character. Suppose we want the monkey, the bananas, to move to a different location. How do we do that? Well, you saw in your task activity at the beginning of this module, uh, in the the fortune teller program, we were randomly picking a number from 1 to 21 to decide what costume we were going to do. Well, we want to do the same thing here. We want to pick a random number. So under the events menu, there is a block called you know, pick random. It's circular, so we know that it is going to produce a number. And the idea is, well, what do we want to pick randomly? Right? We know we want the bananas at the top. That's, an X, uh, that's a Y value of 158. But the X value might be 0. It might be 200. It might be negative 200. Right? We want it to go anywhere from edge to edge. And so you might say, well, we happen to know that this left edge is negative 240. And the right edge is positive 240. Remember that discussion about the X value ranges from negative 240 to positive 240. And so we pick one of those values and drop that into the x region. right? So we're going to randomly pick a number from negative 240 to positive 240 and make that my x. But my y is still going to be 158, so it's at the top. And now we can start that falling. So now the, the first time I click it, the bananas come from over there. The next time I click it, the bananas come from over there. 
and boom, we can continue to move those. Every time I press the green flag, it falls from very different locations. All right? That's pretty good. That's a good next increment. Now what we'll do is figure out in the third increment how we start to detect whether the monkey is catching the bananas or not.